are now infected with measles in Clark County as the outbreak continues to grow there. Public health officials are still monitoring seven suspected cases as well. We know at least 46 of those patients are not vaccinated. Four people in Multnomah County have also been infected. By the way, you can find a list of all of the uh, exposure sites right now on coin.com. And Washington lawmakers heard testimony today on a new bill that would eliminate the personal exemption that allows students to go to school without the measles vaccine. Our Amy Frazier has been following this and she has a closer look at what exactly is being proposed here, Amy. Jennifer, Washington and Oregon are among 18 states that allow parents to opt out their child for personal reasons. A bill now being discussed in Washington state would change that. I'm State Representative Paul Harris out of Vancouver, Washington. Representative Harris is at the epicenter of the measles outbreak with the vast majority of cases in Clark County. He's sponsoring a bill that limits exemptions for the measles vaccine, and that drew a crowd of protesters today in Olympia. I find it fascinating that vaccines it's causing this big of a deal, mm -hmm. to be quite frank with you. Students are required to have certain vaccinations to go to school. House Bill 1638 would still allow medical and religious exemptions for the measles vaccine. However, it would remove a parent's ability to claim a personal or philosophical objection. Washington and Oregon have some of the nation's highest statewide vaccine exemption rates. This bill takes away our freedom and says that you have to take this flawed product or your kid can't go to school. That is so wrong. More than 40 people who got the measles in Clark County were not vaccinated. I believe it's very important uh, to have our children and people vaccinated, and especially those that are most vulnerable who cannot be vaccinated, who have difficulties in their life, who have had transplants. Uh, the most vulnerable, truly, we need to protect. Today, there was a hearing on the bill before the House Health Care and Wellness Committee. I think really, you know, the science is really clear on this. Vaccines work uh, with Institute of Medicine and other folks have uh, reviewed the data. Doctors say multiple studies have shown vaccines do not cause autism. We believe the vaccine is incredibly safe. They also argue common side effects like soreness at the injection site or fever are minimal. We do know that about one to two out of a thousand people who get measles would die before we had the vaccine widely available and that's still the rate in parts of the world where the vaccine is not widely available. In Oregon, Governor Kate Brown said this week the Oregon legislature will likely look at ways to tighten the state's vaccination rules as well. Back to you.